Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for hanging on with a little bit of a delay there. Sorry about that. Um, so with us today, we have got Nigel and Nitin from Property Deals In Insight, um, who will be speaking to you about using data to elevate business opportunities and win more instructions. So without further ado, I'd like to pass over to you, Nigel. Hi, it's Nigel Lewis here. I'm a con head of content at the Negotiator, and I am here this morning to talk to Nitin. So uh, we've known each other for a while, um, and so therefore I think I was invited to have a fireside chat with him and introduce to you what his platform does. But also we're going to have a wider chat really about how leads are generated for agents um, and the whole idea of digital prospecting and how it's been developing from a tech perspective. Um, certainly over the last couple of years since I've been reporting on sort of prop tech uh, platforms like this is, uh, and therefore uh, try and give you some insight into where the whole uh, industry is going, as, as well as at the same time having looking uh, looking at Nissin's platform. So first of all, so first of all, this is, you tell me and you tell the, the people watching why did you set this up and what when did it all happen and why did you do it? Oh, thank you. Hi, hi everybody. I'm um, Nitin, founder of Property Deals Insight. So, uh, just to answer your first question, um, is basically why I set up. Uh, we actually started Property Deals Insight about three years ago. So, we were a pandemic baby. Um, it was basically initially set up as I was uh, the, a landlord and a property investor myself uh, trying to sell and buy houses. And I was always frustrated that there wasn't a quick and easy way to uh, analyze uh, the properties which we were looking at. And every time I was speaking to agents, um, they were, um, I mean, as a vendor, when I would like to try and sell my house, they would be, uh, you would be flooded with emails and calls from agents as soon as you put your details on some sort of an online platform like Right Move and Zipla, where they would try and say, can we come in and um, do a value your home etc and and it was quite frustrating because you don't want 20 agents walking through your door and everything and i was always like why can't we actually have a simpler way of how we actually do this and with the pandemic itself everybody the work the viewings were not happening so it was always uh, yeah, that was a good time to actually think about something which could actually make it super simple for everybody uh, and I came from a technology and a corporate background with over 20 years uh, leading some of the largest programs in the world. So I thought definitely there has to be a better way of doing this. And this is how I actually started initially as my own back pocket utility to help um, find and analyze the properties. But also, if soon, soon enough it became apparent it was actually in, there was a massive need in the industry where people needed data and people needed data, uh, good quality data there and then. And that's essentially why we started it. What, what people say data, uh, it's, it's bandied around as a world, the word a lot. What, did, what do you actually mean by data? I think I'm glad you asked that question, actually, because they were, uh, us sitting on with access to over 28 million UK homes data, uh, we are asked, can we get the data? Can we send us all the data? And, and yes, everybody wants data, but then most people don't really know what to do with that data. We can easily dump gigabytes and gigabytes of data to people, but it would mean nothing. So it's always about giving them information, the right information in the way they can understand. A lot of companies out there, they just spit out data and throw it out uh, to users and try and get them to figure it out. That, that's no good because there's no point in actually being uh, flooded with this uh, large amount of data when it means nothing. And if you have to do all of the number crunch, if you have to do all of the analysis yourself, then there's no point in uh, platforms like us to actually provide that information. So we try and give them the right information to, uh, about various aspects of uh, things. I mean, just to, quite simply, if I put it, um, uh, think about agencies, every agent wants more instructions. They want more leads, they want more instruction. That's the bottom line. But if you think about it, are they speaking to any anybody, we always say there's not they, uh, any agency who speak. They said they're not enough leads, or there's never enough leads, whether you're the number one or or or, or somebody starting up. They, they don't have access to good quality data. Um, they spend ages trying to put together appraisal packs, or as they say, sometimes they spend more time being admins than being agents. 
which results in an inability to stand out and, and a low disclosure rate. So all these are the common problems they face because of not having access to the right information at the right time. And uh, if you look at some of the industry numbers, what, uh, it takes one in three, the, the overall average across the industries is one in three, uh, it gets converted in, instructions get converted into appraisal requests. And even when they do actually win those instructions, more than half of the stock remains unsolved when they are actually winning those instructions. So it's quite important, uh, especially with the looming economic crisis, which we find ourselves in over the next 12 to 24 months, it's quite important that they have access to the right data at the fingertips so they can respond to the incoming inquiries with ease and provide them the right information. So it's when, it's when we're talking about data here, we, the sort of data we're talking about is the address, so the land registry stuff, um, portal stuff, and then sort of third party information which augments those two data streams. Is that right? Is that fair enough? Uh, yes, it is actually. I mean, I think see, one of the biggest thing for anybody in the property um, chain is always what's the right value of a property, right? So anybody, whether you're selling a property, you're buying a property or an agent, I mean, one of the big reasons why people engage agents is how much is my home worth? If I'm looking to sell, how much should I be selling it for? So the big, the first thing is uh, the appraisals, which essentially in in the old days, I would call it, where people would be having to walk in and they'll come in to your, through your door, bring in two printouts of properties, which most of the times would be quite absolutely unrelated to your house. So that doesn't fill you with a lot of confidence when, when you see that. But now what we've done is we've actually put together this platform, which is quite powerful. So we do all the number crunching because we connect to all the uh, trusted data sources. And it's quite important that the data we provide is actually reliable and people can trust on because ultimately the agents want their customers to believe in what they're showing. So we actually integrate with the likes of Land Registry, Ministry of Housing, EPC data, Ofsted data, Ofcom data, um, all the portals, Zoopla, yeah. right move on the market and everything. So essentially we do all the heavy lifting. So it allows us to present to them the valuation data, the local comparables, how much other property is selling for the EPC information, especially with the new regulations coming in, it's quite important. So we yeah. help them be able to generate all of this in, in, in a few seconds, rather than having to spend four to five hours, which it used to take them in the past. It's basically quite important that they can connect to the leads straight away. And that is one of the key things essentially with using technology, using the data to augment what they already have. So, so uh, we talked about leads, uh, which are, you know, uh, there's, there's multiple conversations in the industry, in the sector rather, about uh, leads and how you convert them and cold leads and warm leads and where leads come from and the quality of portal leads and, and all this sort of stuff and how you have to work hard to turn a Zoopla or right move lead into an instruction and this sort of stuff. Um, but we, we, I think we're also going to talk today about um, prospecting, which is, which is a dark art, which I'll, I, I'm not going to pretend I really understand how it works because I've never worked in a state agency. Um, perhaps it would have helped if I had. But, but how does your platform help with prospecting? Is it, are, are we talking about prospecting for new instructions or prospecting amongst um, properties which haven't sold within the three month contract or window? Um, actually, uh, prospecting is quite important, uh, quite an important topic. And I think it's almost like gold dust. Uh, if you talk to any agency, they want to say, we want to be targeting new leads, yeah. uh, as you said, ultimately everybody yeah. wants new leads. How do you target and who do you target? Back in the day, um, again, I, I don't come from an estate agency background, but we work with a lot of experienced agents, uh, people with 30, 40 years of experience in that who have been helping us with shaping up the platform, working with property market and everybody else as well. So one of the things which we understand is the agents used to be doing things called 2020 rule, where basically they would be sending letters out to any, any uh, 20 houses um, and left and right of a certain property which has been sold, but we, we, we are in your area, we would like to sell, would you like to sell your home kind of thing, which is almost like, um, I mean, it's good to do that, uh, and they, some of them still doing it, and they find that's quite um, quite uh, 
well, some of them are getting some returns, but if you think about it, just blindly sending those letters it may not necessarily mean anything because you're, it does cost you money. And if you are trying to cut costs and increase your ROI, you want to make sure you are razor sharp in who you target and how you target. So that's where the prospecting comes in. How can data, how can tech help you with, with some of that? And I think we have um, are one of the only platforms actually which can offer you both on-market and off-market prospecting. What I mean by that is, one is basically if you are looking at stock which is on the market at any given time, can you target um, can you target vendors where somebody is actually uh, coming to an end of their 12-week period, etc., or actually they've um, not managed to sell their property or they haven't reviewed in the property. So there are a number of filters, smart filters we call them, which allows the agents to actually target vendors which they can win. So the second instruction market is a huge, huge, huge market. As I mentioned earlier, half of the stock remains unsold. So there's a massive chance of selling a second instruction than, than when you first get it. So uh, that we have tools which allow you to get the full property addresses so they can actually target, uh, send targeted letters to vendors who are likely to be actually um, going with them. So that's a massive return on investment for them. In addition, we also offer, we call it off-market sourcing uh, a tool which we recently launched that allows you to target, because there's only a fraction of houses of the overall houses which are on the market at any given time. If you've got a vendor who's or, or a client who just missed out on a three bed, uh, a lovely house, semi-attached near a school, et cetera, and they're very disappointed, you want to be able to tell them, actually, we'll find you your next dream home but there may not be any property on the market. So what we allow you to do is actually look at the entirety of the market, apply a lot of filters to say target, let's say homes, typically in the UK, there are every seven to eight years is when people move. So a lot of agents actually want to target certain houses which are likely to sell in a certain area where they can prospect with them. And, and they have a pretty high hit rate. Again, the hit rates will not be necessarily as high on the properties which are already on the market, Oh, that's an amazing return on investment for agents to be able to keep hold of the clients who were disappointed in the first place, but also win new business. So that is actually a real game changer if we are combining all of that with our rest of the offerings. So just, just to fill in a uh, sort of data gap of my own. So when a property comes up for sale online on the portals, I imagine, uh, it doesn't sell within a prescribed period, let's call it three months. Um, how how do how do how does a system like yours know that that has come up the you know that that loca that property at that location has come to its likely end of contract period and therefore would be ripe for prospecting on? Is it is that just dark arts? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, well, I think this is kind of where the uh, power of property deals insight uh, comes in, right? We go, um, we are internally a technology company, right? So we are a property technology company. We have um, loads of processes, uh, heavy lift, heavy, what should I say? Uh, oh, we do all the heavy lifting, as I said earlier. We basically have a lot of processes running all the time, real-time processes, bad jobs, et cetera, et cetera, without confusing the audience too much. But we are always looking at the uh, changes in the market on what's happening. And we, because we integrate with the whole of the market and other sources, we know what's happening. So we would we are always tracking the statuses of the property, what's happening, and applying certain logic algorithms and what the requirements of our agent uh, customers is. We are able to provide them the data that they want. So it's not like one size fits all for everybody. Some agencies have a different way of prospecting, and we. We provide a, almost like a tailored service where they tell us what is it that they want us to send them and we we'll provide them that data. And it's not about, like I said earlier, it's not about spitting data and throwing it at them and you figure out. We help them to try and make sure that they only do what they need to do. They don't need to be doing um, what we are actually helping them with. Sure. So, so you, yeah, I get it. I get it. Okay. So you, you sort of you you see things when they change because you're constantly monitoring uh, the online environment, so to speak. Um, so what? So one. So one. Uh, um, let's call it what it is. One criticism of platforms like yours is that agents sometimes feel that that you're going to replace them, or you're going to replace large sections of their their workforce, so to speak. Is that true? Uh, but what would you, your response be to that? 
<laughs> I think I can only laugh actually, but um, I mean, I think it's a very valid question, and I've really been in loads of discussions, and 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 I think uh, when I set property deals inside about three years ago, uh, it was a lot harder conversation at that time because everybody was like, we know our stuff, we don't need you. But as the pandemic has shown us, everybody now needs technology. The world's moving on. People do need the tech. And, and I think tech isn't there for to replace agencies because agents do a brilliant job in, in what they do. They have a very um, hard job. It's all about making it easy for them. So technology is all about giving them the tools to make, do their job better or do the job easily. I mean, you can spend five hours if you like to do a certain thing, or you can click a few buttons and the same thing is done for you. So ultimately, it's about being able to respond to inquiries quickly. So if you want to be staying ahead of the game, you have to use the technology which can help them. And we, buy, we are by no means trying to replace agents. We're all about actually giving them the solutions to solving their day-to-day -day problems. And I think it's an, uh, we are in a world where technology is something which is part of our lives and you can't just keep your eyes closed and say, we don't need tech. We do need tech. It's all about how can you make the best use of it. Apologies, everybody. I'm not quite sure what happened there with the webinar, but we are all now back online. So if you want to carry on, I'll pass back over to you. I think I think the gods of technology were listening to our conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that was enough. Hey, technology is great when it works, right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK. Um, yeah, so to what, what was the other question to ask? So I was going to ask. Um, oh, hello. I was going to ask. Uh, where we were with technology, so uh, so just so just one point I think is worth making. Um, so you you were just finishing your point on why um, uh, you know you know your technology and technology like yours is not going to replace um, agents in 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 any at any point in the future. But um, but you had mentioned to me in the past that your platform and ones like it are there to improve conversion rates. How does that happen exactly? I think, uh, I think that's a definitely a very good question. I guess uh, one of the things which we find and how we are very different from any other platform out there in the UK is we don't give you piecemeal solutions because a lot of times, I mean, you mentioned leads in the, early on in the conversation. Oh, there are a lot of lead generation tools out there. Everybody uh, leads with a line, get more instructions because they are trying to get people's attention. But when you look under the bonnet, you do realize that all they're doing is just kind of giving you this much of a thing. It's not about just getting somebody interested initially. But what we do is we act at every step of the way. So we help you target who 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 should you target. So that was the thing about we talked about prospecting just before. So you can raise a sharp who you target so you get better return on your investment. Also, uh, in terms of the leads, and you mentioned earlier regarding the quality of leads coming from portals, etc. What we've seen is the best conversion is when you have, I mean, agents spend a lot of time actually, or a lot of time and money on their own websites. So the one thing they forget is the, the person who's most likely to get converted is the one who's already on their website, but they miss a trick by actually not trying to convert them. So it's quite important that they have within their website, they have some things like lead magnets. So we actually have a product uh, is a lead magnet which can go embedded on in their own website so you don't need to be sending a lead to a third party site so they can come back to you it needs to be there and then within your website so that allows them to actually have a massive conversion rate people browsing so it converts browsing uh clients in, into your leads into a hot lead which can be coming in um and also when you do have these leads come in it's about the speed to response how quickly can you respond with meaningful information not just with the simply can I come in and view your property in your home because that gives me no confidence that you know the area. If you have meaningful information within a second or a few seconds so that you can call contact the prospective vendor and say we know your area, we know what the properties in your area are selling for, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Have a meaningful conversation in a few seconds on the phone. That gets you through the door. That allows you to actually get have the next step, which is where they do their magic. And with our reports and uh, analysis, they can then wow their vendors that they realize actually these guys know what they're talking about. So they win the instructions a lot more. And 
And also the biggest thing, uh, which I mentioned a couple of times now, which is about the conversion rate of once you actually won the instruction. So within the UK, you've got almost two thirds of the properties, which are either second homes or investment properties. There's a massive, massive uh, investor um, driven or buy to let market out there. So if you can actually show meaningful information to the buyers, because everybody just keeps focusing on winning the instruction, ultimately you've got to sell it to earn some money, right? You don't get paid to sell those. So yeah. if you are able to give the prospective buyers meaningful information on why a certain property is worth buying, that allows them to convert so much more. So within what they already have, they can start converting a lot more. We help them every step of the way, who to target, how to win the leads, how do you win the instructions, and how do you actually make the sale. It's almost like a cyclical process. You don't want, the last thing agents want today is having to buy 10 more pieces of software and hit and then having to train their staff, which all they end up doing is buying a license, never use it, and it's just sitting there. Um, yeah, yeah. Them. So, so how does it work, your platform? Is it at all pluggable in the wall, so to speak? into the existing uh, property software that a, a agent has in in their you know the cloud system or in their office or does yours work separately from them um, we it works both ways so we are we are an online platform so anybody can access from their phone mobile tablets however they want to use it but also we have api offerings again i don't want to be sounding too technical on this call, but uh, we have integrations with other platforms um, where they can embed it in, in there as well. So uh, again, every every agent has different setups. So we look at it from that perspective on how we can do it, but there are multiple offerings on how we do it. We offer an online platform, we offer reports which can be white labeled and they can actually print it off, et cetera, and take them with it. We embed our widgets which can go in within their existing websites. And we also integrate with their CRMs and stuff if they want us to do that for them. Okay. Uh, and finally, if you're in a lift, this is your this is your elevator pitch. And someone said, why should I spend money on more prop tech when the, as you mentioned, the property market is probably facing probably a difficult period, certainly in the next year um, after such a boom. But what would what would be your elevator pitch in terms of why they should spend more money on prop tech? I think, I think that's a very, very important question and, and one which all agents find themselves facing um, now. I mean, a lot of time uh, our teams would contact people and they'll say, oh, we're not spending any money now because there's the market is tough. I think this is the time to actually embrace technology. This is the time when you want to find out how can I actually spend less and reduce the amount of licenses, et cetera, which I have the number of tools and get better ROI. How can we actually focus, be razor sharp in, in what we're doing rather than having to do a blanket approach and spending a lot of money trying to win those instructions? This is a very good time to actually use technology and become and show your vendor that you are a class apart from the rest of it. It's all about how can you become the agent of choice? How can we help you become the agent of choice and stand out to your vendors? Okay, great. Thank you all uh, for listening into this the last 32 minutes. Um, we said after this uh, half hour, we would then invite any questions. So I, I don't know if our colleague from Property Mark uh, could enlighten us whether there are or have been any. If not, uh, great. If not, if there are, then also great. But uh, have we got any questions we can put? Uh, no, we haven't got any questions at the moment. Um, if any of you do get any questions, though, that you did want to ask, then you can email them over to us and we can send them on to Nitin. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, apologies for technical uh, stuff today, which has <laughs> been digital tech getting in, getting in our way. <laughs> but uh, but uh, thank you very much indeed for listening. And uh, thank you to everyone involved. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Just want to say thank you again to both of you for uh, spending the time today to do your webinar. Uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. Um, please, anybody that's listening, do go and check out uh, Property Deals Insight website. Um, and like I say, if any of you have any questions, please send them over to courses.events at propertymark.co.uk and we can get those um, answered for you. So, yeah, just want to say have a good rest of your week. Cheers. Thank you.